Johann Pachelbel was a German composer and organist who lived from 1653 to 1706. His organ fugues and chorales had a great influence on Bach. His Canon in D is a very popular piece for weddings and other occasions, and so it's a very important part of any harpist's repertoire. I've made a variety of arrangements of this piece for intermediate to advanced harp players and included them all in this one volume. Although this canon is usually performed in the original key of D with two sharps, it sounds much better on some harps in the key of G or one sharp. So I've included the arrangements in both keys in this book. There are solos and harp duets, as well as arrangements for harp and flute or other melody instrument. All of the harp parts include fingerings, and the ensemble versions have measure numbers. The lowest note in the easy key of D arrangement is the D that's about an octave below middle C, and the advanced arrangements go an octave lower. All of the arrangements in the key of G go down to the G an octave and a half below middle C. There are two sharping lever changes within each arrangement, which are written in words between the staves. The pedal harp changes are written below the bass staff. The right hand parts are very similar in the easy and the advanced arrangements because they're basically playing the melody. The difference in difficulty is generally in the complexity of the left hand. In these examples in the key of G, the easy version is shown on the top of the screen and the same measures in the advanced version are shown on the bottom. In order to more easily learn to play Pachelbel's Canon, it's important to understand that the entire piece is made up of a series of eight left-hand chords, which repeat in the same order every four measures. In the key of D, these eight chords are D, A, B, F sharp, G, D, G, A. They always come in this order throughout the piece. Since it's important that you learn the order of these chords, I've come up with an easy way for you to remember them. The first letter of each word will be the name of the chord. Don't, all, theirs, feel, good, doing, great, act. In the key of G, the eight chords are G, D, E, B, C, G, C, D. And your helpful sentence is, Great Danes eagerly bite Carl's good corn dogs. If you learn the sentence that goes along with the key that you'll be playing, it will be much easier to learn your left hand and know where you are in the chord progression. So let our Bears and Great Danes help you remember, or make up your own sentence. It's fun! A canon is similar to a round. One voice starts, and then another voice comes in a few measures later. In Pachelbel's canon, the second voice comes in at the end of four measures, at the end of the eight chord pattern. You don't get a sense of the round in the solo harp arrangements, but it's clearly heard in the duet and ensemble arrangements with the second instrument coming in after four measures. For example, the melody played in the A part of the harp duet in measures 17 to 20, shown at the top of the screen, is played by the B part four measures later in measures 21 to 24 at the bottom of the screen. A companion CD is available, including the arrangements from this book, as well as three arrangements from my Yezu Joy of Man's Desiring book. I recorded the music slower than it is usually played so that you can play along while you're learning. You've heard this memorable piece on commercials for items as diverse as wine and light bulbs and now you can play it too.